Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us here uh, Don't downloading content with the Game Awards After Show. I am Suffer By Us, and this is my co-host. SSR, otherwise known as Otter Madness. Otter Madness. That's, I have yes, to do that. positively maddening. <laughs> um, so we're just going to go uh, over a few of the premiere videos that we saw and uh, just talk about how we liked them or did not like them. Um, and if there was actually enough content in there, so uh, we are gonna get started right now, uh, with Evil West. So let's go ahead and uh, hit play on that right now. Focus Home Interactive, I love them as a publisher, they put out a lot of great games. Yeah, buddy. And I gotta love right off the bat just how gritty this game is. <laughs> yeah. And honestly, I really hope that the combat ends up being just this fluid. Like, I know you can't shoot behind you and whatnot, but for it to be fast-paced and almost like uh, like the Doom Eternal combat. Right. It was very, uh, I love this. Boom. <laughs> what? What is that? I don't care. Let me have it. Now, can yeah. you have that as well as the little Wolverine claws coming out? I mean... You must be able to. He just did it within 10 seconds of each other. And then big old demon. Gets surrounded and he goes Thor. Boom. I'm pretty excited. It looks like Evil something West. I, I, I will definitely get behind this game. Yeah. You can run. Beautiful. Ah, uh, yeah. Absolutely beautiful, guys. I think um I I mean that would definitely be a game that I would be interested in without a doubt. Levels of hype, 0 through 10. What what do we got? I'm I'm going to give that a solid 8 for me. Solid definitely, 8 on hype. Yeah. The one thing, you know, it's, um, I'm just hoping that like, it doesn't come out and you have some like three quarter top down perspective, you know what oh. I mean? I'm, I'm hoping this is going to be first person to where you can do all that stuff. Not like, oh, and maybe you have an animation, you know, that's what worries me when you get a very cool cinematic, but you have no actual gameplay, like what are they actually developing? Now there could be other yeah. content about this out there, but we are only reviewing what premiered at the Game Awards. So this is coming out next year. And um, as of right now, I am hyped. I'm, I'm giving it eight out of 10. How about you? I want to give it more of a six, like just above average, because I am hyped for it. But also I, uh have like nothing to go off of at the moment so i want to play it and i want to give it the benefit of the doubt and i'm excited but i'm kind of holding off on that because uh shooters have burned me before and <laughs> it it just kind of looked to me like a a western version of doom which if that's what it ends up being that's an a plus from me but that's what I want for it, not what I'm expecting to get. Yeah, I I would be totally fine with that. Um, I don't know. I mean, you got a lot of cool little toys to play with there. Um, cool creature. I mean, it's. I'm just... I... For me, you know, being like a gunslinger looking guy with all that cool stuff and then with the extra powers, I I would go higher than eight, but I, I need to see gameplay mechanics. So I understand your six on that. So yeah. I guess uh overall hype right now is a seven point zero, guys. Yep. <laughs> overall hype. <laughs> I, I want to get more, but uh like I said, I I wanna see some gameplay or yeah, that's at least gonna be important. 
That's going to be important. Yep. All right, guys. Next, we are going to check out uh, the world premiere of Mass Effect, which uh, we don't have a title or anything. All we know is it's Mass Effect, which you didn't know, as you'll see till the end. So let's uh, check that out right now. So a little uh, Easter egg right off the bat. Got your your two galaxies, your uh, main Mass Effect galaxy, and then off in the distance, the Andromeda galaxy. The so the good galaxy and the bad galaxy, <laughs> or I'm sorry, the the so so galaxy, the not making more content for galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> the it exists galaxy. We got a lot of backlash on this galaxy. Yeah, yeah. Mostly what, from bugs and whatnot, but yeah. What yeah. if you have to go from this galaxy to that galaxy? Reaper sound! Oh, love it. <laughs> right there in the trailer was where I had the suspicion this was Mass Effect. Because they didn't tell us it was Mass Effect beforehand. Uh, yeah, they just said, this is our last world premiere video, was all they told us. And then there's the music, which is very Mass effect -y, but uh, I know you've said you uh, have never played these before. You're going to have to give them a go if you ever find yourself with extra time. These are so good. And there it is, the N7 reveal. Uh, nah. So Shepard <laughs> is coming back, or at least we're looking for him. Mass Effect will continue. That's all they say. We'll continue. So all we know is they're going to make more games. When? What's uh? What's the setting? What do we got going on? Well, if it's sticking to the uh, initial four or initial three trilogy, the three games from the trilogy, it'll be in the Milky Way. It'll be. I assume it'll be Shepard, because the best ending of the game was Shepard not being dead. So, spoiler alert! <laughs> right? Spoiler alert! But hey. I might not. I might not need to play him now. I know the ending. Thanks. I mean, <laughs> there's actually like a bunch of different endings you can get. So, I didn't really spoil anything. But uh, if you're worried about spoilers from a game that's eight years old, <laughs> no, I'm worried. You should be. Yeah, that like Mass Effect. Um, the Witcher series, I didn't play that, but honestly, I, I haven't played beyond the first Witcher. I, uh, you know, for me, I stopped playing like deeply involved games a long time ago because I was traveling a lot for work. So I would, uh, you know, play for a week straight, then be out of town for two weeks and come back and not know what the heck I was doing anymore. And, you know, be, mm. home, be home for a weekend, not touch the game, be out of town for two weeks again, and then be home, you know, for a month and start over. And I would do the same little things like three or four times, and, you know, oh, I'm just going to start over, make a new character, uh, go do all the same stuff, pause, be like, okay, I know where I'm at now, go out of town, come back and go, oh, what was I doing? <laughs> <laughs> so... A lot of these games, yeah, I didn't get to, uh, but the Mass Effect, I've always heard good things about it. Although I did hear all the backlash over Andromeda. I did think about picking that one up, and then I was told I wouldn't do it, so I didn't. I believe Andromeda did get some bug fixes to make it a lot more tolerable. But, uh, I mean, if you're looking for like the authentic, top-notch Mass Effect experience, play the first three games. Best games ever it's big words big words uh, yeah well <laughs> big man I guess <laughs> I'm short <laughs> alright next folks we're going to take a look at a cinematic trailer that was rather long featuring Vin Diesel so if you haven't seen it I don't want to spoil what it is, but we'll talk about it here momentarily. Let's get it started right now. So 
So right off the bat, it looks really good. <clears throat> yeah, again, you know, it's tough to not have a cinematic trailer look good these days. True, but uh, that's also coming from the team that did ARC. So, <laughs> I mean... Spoiler alert! <laughs> what? This is ARC? <laughs> Wait, that's Vin Diesel? <laughs> Ow. Is that a blue ape man? Mm. There's trouble on the horizon. It's funny, I didn't realize this because it's just hisses and grunts and whatnot, but uh, one of the uh, boss voice actors from Warframe is the one doing all the voice grunts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> For the monsters there. <laughs> just just got a comment on that. The, the way that the fight there was animated, the combat looks a little awkward. <laughs> like, something about it just seems kind of weird. Oh my god, he's bald! <laughs> Who'd have thought? Lisa, where'd your hair go? Oh. oh. This is when you kind of started thinking maybe it was Ark. Yep, I had no idea up until I saw the dinosaur and then I'm like, oh, wait a minute. But what solidified it was uh, still to come. Away! Oh, oh, she did. <laughs> yeah, pick that fight. That'll go real well. <laughs> oh, now she fights so, too. I didn't play much of the first arc, so I don't actually know if there was these like what are these like goblin monsters? Or... Um, so I got art for my son, uh, but I, now my, my boy Bullpew loves art, got his own custom server from wherever, he plays a lot, but I, these aren't my style of games, honestly. Like, survival stuff, I, I'm, stuff you really gotta kind of babysit, that's not my thing. I don't mind it so much. Like, I used to play, like, I, I played a lot of Minecraft back in the day, and uh, that, that seems like that's kind of, like, where all this stuff, like, I wouldn't say originated from, but is heavily inspired by the whole uh, build a base, gather materials, uh, build tools, etc., seems like it just started popularizing around the time Minecraft came out. And since then, we've seen what? Uh, Ark, Rust, uh, Conan. Mm -hmm. Just a whole bunch of these games where you start with absolutely nothing and it's go out, gather materials, build tools, go out, build, gather more materials, build base, go out. and Yeah, it's it's weird. But uh. Lights so this is when you definitely knew it was Ark. Oh yeah, yeah. As soon as I saw the thing on his wrist or on her wrist, uh, I was like, "I've seen that before. I know what this is." Unless they're just really knocking that off. But and honestly, I hated the first Ark. But I'm actually kind of excited for this one. You're excited, huh? Yeah, I'm. I'm pretty excited for this one. I see. What? I, uh, uh, what has piqued your interest? Just, looks like they're putting more effort into this one. Gotcha. But uh, that said, they also are. Uh, they also announced that they're doing an anime with this one too. So they did. Yeah, we we kind of glossed over that. That's supposed to come out what 2022. Yes, 2022. And I would imagine that'll have Vin yeah. Diesel in it. <laughs> Vin Diesel, Russell Crowe. That's uh, right. That's Dave right. Tennant. 
Russell Crowe. Uh, that's right. There was other. There was one other voice on that list that I recognized right away, but uh, let's see. Um, we forgot the hype meter on Mass Effect. Hype meter, ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Okay. Good. Easy. I haven't not really played any. I I don't have much on that. So hype meter for Arc Two. Where you at? Hype meter for Arc Two. Uh, I'm probably gonna sit it around a seven. Like, I I gotta knock at some points because I. I loathe the first game, but I don't know. It's been many years since Ark mm -hmm. first came out, so I kind of have it could the hope be a lot better now. And they're gonna make a good second game. I'm gonna come in at uh like a four because I it's not my style of game. So um, that's fair. I, you know, I try, you know, even I've done like seven days to die. I can't, can't get into that. Um, I don't know. I just don't like having to grind and build and do it. It's never been my thing, you know? So I, and again, all we have is the cinematic. I, I imagine people that like Ark um, are either going to love or hate this one. Depending on, you know, I mean, because I doubt you're going to, I don't know, are you going to be able to carry your stuff over? I People doubt it. put years and years into art, might not want to go to something new. I mean, didn't they, uh, didn't they put out that other game, uh, Atlas? Oh, yeah, yeah. And that was, um, far, I know my son got that because he likes Ark and he got the full refund from steam that you have like 48 hours to do or whatever <laughs> mm -hmm. um because he didn't like he said he'd rather just play art i do see some people play atlas every now and then but that i don't think did all that great so yeah the people that i saw that were playing it mostly were people that liked doing like extensive role playing and voice acting and whatnot and that's pretty much the extent of what i saw for atlas Right. Other than that, anybody who picked it up was like, yeah, why would I play this when I've invested time into all these other games that are basically the same thing? Yeah, so, I don't know. Are, are people going to want to go from Ark to Ark 2? I, I want to say that given the difference between how long it's been between launches, hopefully they've got like a new engine that they're going to run this new game off of and it's just going to run a lot better and look a lot better so i've got yeah. hopes for that uh but i mean if they're running off the same engine and they aren't really changing much other than just adding gray ape enemies and <laughs> whatever else like they've got going on there then eh, then it's not quite nearly as interesting to me yeah i i'll be honest i probably won't play it so sorry to you arc fans um especially you both you who tried to get me to play arc i did finally get arc when it was free on epic but apparently epic and steam when i got it and was willing to give it a try you couldn't uh if you could cross play you couldn't do the dlcs and things so i couldn't really get onto his server so and of course, that desire in me was very small and only took a week to diminish. So, um, Ark, again, not my thing, but we're just checking out the cool cinematics they put in the game premieres. So, no offense to anybody if Ark's your thing, it's fine. Totally fine. And it's also a 60 gig game. So, I mean, I mean, you could have arc one through six and still take up less space than Call of Duty. <laughs> that's that's true. I mean, what, uh, what, what was what was the new Call of Duty up to on PlayStation? Like a hundred twenty something? It's bigger than that on PC, man. Is it really? Yeah, I took it off. Um, I uninstalled. And it was like a hundred and fifty-seven or something. Oh wow. 
187.9. There you go. Wow, yeah. 188 gigs for that game. Oh that god, was, not even what I liked Call of Duty. That was that was the Modern Warfare one. I don't know what the newest one is. Well, that was uh that was Cold War. Hmm. Well, I'm talking about the one before that. Cold War, uh, I don't know. That one might be all right. Uh, that was what game came before that? Ah, yeah, we're, that we're getting All right, and oh, Great. pardon me. I'm being. I'm <laughs> this just in. I'm being told that uh, Ark is actually two hundred and what? Two hundred and twenty-five gigs for Ark or Ark Two? Uh, for Ark. I, that's got to be with every expansion out there. Uh, that's just with one expansion and the free maps. 225 gigs? Yep. So, holy shit, that is a big game. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Yeah, and it runs like crap. And it runs like crap. The best news is that it runs like crap. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All these negatives. It's got it's so big, it takes up so much space, and the game itself is just meh and whatnot. But hey, it runs like crap. <laughs> All right. Next up, guys, we have uh the cinematic trailer world premiere for Crimson Desert. Let's go what, ahead what? and uh get that going for you right now. Pearl Abyss never heard of them but i want to look them up now after the, after seeing this game because this is all actual in-game footage is it that's yeah that's what it says at the beginning <laughs> don't hold me to that but uh that's what they say so i gotta take their word for it i mean I that was that was right on the screen there was i supposed to pay attention to that i mean usually when there's words you're supposed to read them but i mean such you is can, life you, you can read I I can read at a third grade level. I can click links and watch. I mean, the game is beautiful. So, I mean, yeah, this could be in-game footage, but it's still cinematic stuff. But I yeah. guess you're saying that the fight scenes and everything... Yeah, yeah. I'm assuming, like, all the fight scenes, that's somebody playing it. So I do remember that they said it was a single player journey in an MMO setting. So that's interesting because that's uh that's actually what uh Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning was supposed to be. That was their uh they wanted to wanted to develop an MMO, so they used the single player game to kind of develop the world that they wanted to for their MMO. Which I mean for obvious reasons never got off the ground. So Hmm. <clears throat> but yeah if that's the case with this i'm even more interested because this is this looks really good um yeah. and all the stuff you yeah. see going on throughout this trailer is insane they, they uh they don't have any of the voice acting or anything done yet guys so that's why you don't hear any talking or anything going on um all they have right now is the video But it looks like I believe. they've got this game pretty far along. Yeah. If this is all in-game footage that they've taken, it looks like the game has... Looks like the game should be coming out as soon as they get the voices in there. Provided they don't need to do some more optimizing and bug fixes and whatnot, but... Well, they might, because, I mean, you do get a lot of blur and stuff in here during the fight scenes. Yeah. Um, and it looks like whatever they're running this on, they're losing frames here and there. Yeah. Which is but a little I mean, bit of a there is there is like a lot of visual blur here. Like the, I'm sure this is all actual game mechanics. Yeah. I mean, it looks brutal, man. It looks like it would be fun. Yeah. I'd definitely give it a try. But so far that's my biggest complaint is the the losing of frames when you're in mid like mid swing and whatnot. 
That's yeah. I mean, there's just a lot of like every time he jumps and things, a lot of blur and everything going on. Yeah. But the combat looks pretty good. I mean, there's like jumping on people and stabbing them, throwing them over you, backstabs, and like <laughs> the roundhouse kicks there. <laughs> like wait, wait. Oh, not yet. I like, I don't... Uh, and there's a magic system, apparently, because you can create an ice walkway. That was pretty dope. Yeah, if... If this ends up being an... Now, there's, is there there's a dragon? Demo? Is there going to be a demo? An MMO. Oh, an MMO. I, I yeah. just remember uh, before the video, the guy said that it was a single-player campaign in an MMO setting. So I don't know exactly how to take that. That means you're going to have a giant world, lots of people to talk to that never do anything interesting, and they have lots of fetch quests. Gotcha. So you're going to spend cat. a lot of time to beat this game. Yeah. Castle Siege there looked really good. But, uh... And then Monster bo Monsters. That's pretty cool looking. And then flying on a dragon while people are shooting at you with missiles and ballistas. And I assume magic. That's really cool. I mean, the game is very, very beautiful. Oh, There's yeah. some some issues here or there with the stuff we complained about, but overall, I complain because I care. Crimson and I want to Desert. Be Crimson Desert. Winter, Winter twenty. Yeah. So we got about a year for that. Yep. Expect it holiday next year. Looks good. Looks good. So, um, I mean, we kind of talked about this through the whole video. Um, where's your hype meter on this? Uh, well, I'd be more hyped if they said that they were going to make it into an actual MMO. Because, I mean, those castle sieges with like 50 players on each side would be insane. Although the frame drops, if it frame drops with one player. Ugh. Well, they've got a year really like a with, with no delays. They have about a year to fix all that. Yeah. Or pardon me. It wouldn't be two frames a second. It would be two seconds per frame. <laughs> but. But. Uh, so. I mean, it looks like the combat is pretty uh, well thought out, pretty in-depth. It's got a magic system. Uh Looks like it's got a little bit of a sneaking system because the person was sneaking around and backstabbing people. Yeah. I assume that the story is going to be good, but I guess I should never assume that. Uh, everything is very well animated. Uh, everything looks good. Nothing's like overly saturated. Uh, I'd say my hype for this one's about uh, about a five. Like, I'm excited, but. I'm ex I'm excited because it looks good, not because I because the gameplay itself looks good. I don't know anything else aside from that. If the voice acting came out and it was like, "Oh, would you go fetch me some carrots for my giant rabbit or some bad voice acting like that?" That's yeah. immersion break for me. It or, it doesn't look like it's going to have bad voice acting. I hope it doesn't. I I really hope it doesn't. But uh So I don't know. It's it seems like it's that close to completion. I want to hear more about it before I say too much, I guess. Well, for so all I, the details. I, my hype's <laughs> about average. Yeah, I'm going to agree with you there. I'll go with a 5 on that. Um I don't know. I'm worried that'll be too big of a game for me, you know is my biggest thing. I don't do a lot of those RPGs anymore because I, you know, getting more than 20 hours is tough for me on a game anymore. You know, unless unless it's like a shooter or something, you know, I can hop in and play for 10 
15 minutes or play for three or four hours. You know, I like, and I'm not good with shooters. Big reason I play them though is because I can jump in and play one or two rounds and then be done and go about my day and have my little video game fix where something like that, you know, you end up taking a quest and it's a two hour quest or whatever to complete. And then a lot of my days lost. So, yeah. Uh, it all well, depends, you know. I, two hours to complete a quest, you got a problem with your well, game. Well, you know, you know what I'm saying, though. Yeah, I, I know, I know. I'm just boosting your bulls. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, so we got a five on that one. Yeah, average. <laughs> For the record, anybody who's watching, that's how I do my scale. Five is average. One is don't ever, and ten is mm, masterful. Gotta have it. All right, and next up, um, we have this premiere for Xbox of the new Perfect Dark game coming out. Let's take a look at that, and uh, we'll start that for you right now. I don't think there's been a Perfect Dark since Zero, which was, what, on the 360? Oh, was it? Man, I, I think last or was, perfect was, dark was, it, was it was it was it on the one I remember when maybe it was the one I don't know Let's see the flood the storm well now you got me all it's, curious. it's been a while the fires perfect dark zero was uh uh exclusively released Operation on the 360. Oh, I was right yep because I bought uh, the collector's edition of that in the nice metal case with the sleeve that went over it. And I no longer have that because I sold all of my 360 games when I got the Xbox One. I actually got the exact same thing with the uh, Dragon Age Origins. The nice metal case with the sleeve over it. Oh. Mm -hmm. If they made cases like that more often, I'd buy more physical games. Yeah. This is it weird. looks really nice. It does look really nice, but what? I, I don't even really know what Perfect Dark is. Is it like a... I'm guessing by the camera going through like this, is it like a spy or an infiltrator game? Yeah. I mean, it's a shooter, but got a little more to it. Hmm. Agent Dark. Not yet. This is Agent just Dark. the beginning. Oh, snap. Perfect, Perfect Dark. Dark. Now, did they say something at the Game Awards about it being a uh, quadruple A game? I don't recall that. Because afterwards, I heard somebody memeing about that and saying it was a quadruple A game, and I was wondering where they picked that up. But I'm not huh. sure there is such a thing. But <laughs> there isn't, to my knowledge. It would I've be the been first wrong of its before. Kind. <laughs> if it was a quadruple A game, that would mean it. It was like a collective between millions of dollars invested and or billions of dollars invested and like. 20 major companies or something like that working on it. I don't know. I don't even ha know how you do quadruple A. Ugh. Yeah. And the marketing for it is literally TV, internet, and radio ads. <laughs> they take out an <laughs> ad in the newspaper. That's the fourth A. The newspapers. Ooh, the advertising. Yeah. <laughs> Throw it in the news. Newspapers. Front page. So, I don't know. Um, I'm not real hype about that game myself. I mean, I'll the give trailer. it a five. It, it could be cool. Trailer looked good, but the trailers always look good. The I never played any of the other games, so I have nothing to go off on this one. Right. I say I did play Perfect Dark Zero. Uh, I never finished it or anything, but that, again, on the 360, that's a long time ago <laughs> yeah yeah been probably 10 years so i 
I remember, you know, you're not, you don't run and gun. It's a little more stealthy, you know, with weapons and stuff. But, uh, okay. I gotcha. so I don't, I'll come in on a, on a five on that for my hype meter, about average. You know, you if it that. if it's Xbox and it comes to PC, I might give it a look, especially if it's on Game Pass. I would definitely play then. I got to I got to give it a three. I'm like. The only spy games I have really ever played and enjoyed was the. Uh, 007 Goldeneye back on the Nintendo 64. I mean, and that's that, like my that was a genre defining game right there. I mean right all all the the shooters and other things were spawned off of that multiplayer honestly i mean yep that uh that's one of the best games ever made <laughs> oh yeah hands down easily but uh that's my uh, experience with the spy shooters and that's pretty much all i ever really needed if you i you never did uh like any of the tom clancy uh like the splinter cell stuff Nope. I watched people play them, but I've never played them myself. Gotcha. Never really had an interest in it. No, that's fine. So that's where we're at on that. We got an average of a four, or a little below average between the two of us. And that was uh, the new Perfect Dark coming out at some time. All right, guys. And next up... Um, we're going to check out the premiere, the world premiere of the new Dragon Age. So let's get that started for you right now. Not actual gameplay. Tyrants and be gods. <laughs> I'm so glad they clarified that. <laughs> the game is just looking at fiery covered stones. But there's always Best Dragon Age ever. <laughs> on breaking the world. I do have a... Uh, or I have maybe it's Inquisition, whatever on the Xbox. Time for a new hero. Honestly, I still need to beat Inquisition. I keep getting really far into it and then no stopping. And I'm kind of like no you, where if I spend enough time away from a game, when I come back, I have to start over. Mm -hmm. So I've, I've I restarted that game like three coming. times. I got the game. It was on sale for like nine dollars or something, and I had three friends that had it, and so we all just did the four-player multiplayer, which wasn't very much you could do. It was just kind of doing missions and stuff, fighting, clearing out things. But that's all I really did in that game. This huh. is your story. So I'm kind of glad that they kind of got all meta with that one and kind of called out fact that uh they didn't like the direction they went with inquisition and essentially we're just like oh by the way in this next game we're not going to do the whole you're the chosen one bullshit instead we're just going to make it this is your story you get to be the hero that you want to be instead of yeah. it's preordained that you're the chosen one and everybody's going to follow you and blah 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 oh and we've got dark spawn again like, <laughs> Okay. Yeah. So I that like that's all I've always wanted to play the Dragon Age games. I've heard a lot of great things about them, but again, I'm old and I don't have a lot of time to dedicate to gaming. So I kind of stay away from the RPG genre just because yeah, you know, I'll hit it heavy for like two weeks and then I need a break and then I never come off that break and it's like a waste of money for me to put you know. 15 or 20 hours, 25 hours into an 80 or 100 hour or whatever game. So, though the Dragon Age games might be a little bit easier for you because it's kind of a, at least the first game was a more play at your own pace. It's broken up into acts, and, well, not acts, but segments where you go to the different parts of the world, and in each part of the world, you've got one main quest and then a few sub quests, but it's divvied up in a way that you don't have to worry about it being too overwhelming if you take some time away and decide to come back. Uh, right, the second right. one was a lot more enclosed. And from my experience with Inquisition thus far, that one is the one that's like big world. <laughs> gotcha. Inquisition so far, like just the starting map that 
you start on it it's massive and honestly at points in time i'm kind of like okay i need to go do something else because i've been on this one map for like 12 hours right i think i I think i i played like the very beginning i don't remember there was character creation or whatever i think i did that but i said pretty much and even though it wasn't received all that well with the multiplayer it was the whole reason i spent money on the game was just to play with some friends you know and we we played a lot until we got tired of it you know because there's just not much you can do it's just kind of doing the same thing over and over and trying to do it better than you did last time so i never did the multiplayer so i'm not really familiar with that uh i mean it's fun like you have a whole level up system but it's all outside of you know nothing none of that multiplayer has anything to do with the actual game gotcha well and i don't know about you but honestly coming off of the first game inquisition i didn't like their leveling system and the skill trees that they had uh dragon age one did it so much better in my opinion Mm -hmm. I see. All right. Well, where's your hype meter on the new Dragon Age? Choose your oh. own adventure. Hero is your story. King. Kind of got to give it. It's Dragon Age and it's Bioware, so it's near and dear to my heart. I got to give it a nine. I want to give it a 10, but I haven't finished Inquisition yet. And Inquisition, okay. like I said, it, it had some things that kind of irked me that they kind of dumbed down from the first game. All right, well, uh, I'm going to drag you down here, but I'm going to give it a a solid six, a little above average. It's it's got my interest peaked. It looks cool, but again, it's coming from an old man that hasn't put a lot of time into Dragon Age games, so don't hate me. But if you do, leave leave it in the comments. It's fine. I'll I'll tell you thank you. I think I'm a big enough shill for the both of us. (laughs) So seven and a half, pretty good average. I think that's the best of the night so far in the average between us. I believe um, so. You know, and like I said, um, unfortunately, you know, just with work and kids and kids' activities, I don't, I just don't have time to invest in big RPGs anymore. Where you know that used to be my thing back in the day because I had the time and. You're spending the same price for hours more content than you are on, you know, a, a different style of game. So, yeah, I do I do like the RPG genre. I just don't have the time for it. But Dragon Age has always piqued my interest, so that's why um, for not having a lot of experience with it, I'm going to give it a little over a five. If you ever get the time, start with the first game. It's the best one. But Inquisition is also a big leap uh, as far as the storytelling and the graphics and the combat. That Inquisition does things better than the first one, but the first one, in my opinion, overall is a better game. Was that Origins or which one was Origins? Yeah, Yeah, Origins is the first game. And then it had an expansion called Awakenings. Okay. See, I thought there was more than two games, but that makes sense. Then there was a big expansion on the first game. Yeah. Uh, this is my own personal opinion, but, uh, and I know I'm going to get a dirty look here in a second, but uh, Dragon Age 2 was completely skippable. Where's the dirty look? Right there. You got it. See? All right. I, I well,. I got sass. <laughs> but in my opinion, Dragon Age 2 was skippable. All right. It, it was good, but and it and it was the and it was the point in time where the combat from the first game started to ramp up a bit, but from a storytelling perspective and lore-wise and whatnot, I just didn't feel it like I felt the other two. Gotcha. That too. It was much shorter than the others. All right, guys. Well, that uh, concluded. Basically, we thought we'd go through those six cinematic trailers. Um, So that was that. And now we have each selected three things that we're pretty hyped about. 
Um, so we're going to start this first one here from uh, SSR. What is this called? This would be Road 96. Road 96. Uh, All right. Yeah. Yeah. Do it. All right. Let's get this going for you right now. Omen presents... The whole gimmick with this one, it seems like, is uh, that you're trying to travel across the country, but it's procedurally generated, so it's almost like no two playthroughs will be the same. And then there's stuff like that that's uh, just seems like you can get into some crazy scenarios or situations. Yeah, I remember this now watching it back. This looks pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, I was uh, this one. This is one of them that stood out to me when we were watching the Game Awards. That I was like, that's something that has piqued my interest. I really want to see more did about you, this. Did uh, you did you wish list it? I did not wish list it. I should. It uh, plus I just really kind of like that uh, that art style they went with. Right, right. Where it's like almost cell shaded, it seems, but not quite. I hear you. So, um, yeah, that one, I mean, it looks cool. I don't know if that is, I don't, it, it's definitely not, not my style of game. <laughs> but I don't know if it is my style of game. So I'm a little on the fence. We obviously don't need to hype meter through this stuff because one of us is hyped. So for this one was SSR. Um, what all caught your interest in that uh well like i was saying the graphics i i like that art style they went with and then uh the fact that it's because it's procedurally generated mm -hmm. uh i don't know if they plan to but there's a lot they could do with that like for one there's probably already a lot of scenarios in it that could play out but they could come in with uh, a DLC or an update or whatever they want at <laughs> DLC and uh, mm -hmm. could add like just over no self promo, just please people to run into <laughs> and thus broaden the game itself. So yeah, it's, it's got a, it seems like it's got a lot of replayability to me. Uh, honestly, I really want to see how many scenarios they've got into it. Because they say, oh, there's like thousands of different ways, thousands of different roads you could take. And right. I that that's just talking about like because they've got, say, 200 different scenarios and there's no rhyme or reason to how you're going to encounter them. So you could encounter these 20 through your playthrough. And you could encounter those same 20 in another playthrough, but in a different order or whatever. Right. It's There's just a lot they could do with that. I mean, that sounds pretty cool. To and me. it doesn't they uh, are it doesn't look like a game that they made just to make. It looks like it might have been like a passion project, so I'm kind of hoping they do do more than that. <laughs> do do, do, do. <laughs> as old as i am it's still funny mm -hmm. all right guys next up is a game uh i'm excited about just because i love the uh the movies man um this is the evil dead video game so let's take a look at this uh we'll get this going for you right now and uh see what you all think here I'm excited, man. As am I. I'm I a big a Evil Dead fan, so to see them, as soon as I realized, saw that car, I knew what this yeah. was, and I'm like, no. Shut up and take my money. The Necronomicon. <laughs> yep. 
It seems an archaeologist had it's, come to it's fun to go back and watch these movies even nowadays because it's kind of like almost goofy horror, but... And like I mean, they got they got the guy from Army of Darkness in there. Oh, yep. You got some evil Ash-looking guys. You got Ash with his chainsaw and his boomstick. <laughs> it's beautiful. Oh. And then the gameplay. I'm kind of curious as to, uh, like, what it's going to be. Like, is it going to be, like, the enemies are trying to assault the cabin, so you try to stop them from getting into it, or... And you just do waves and waves of that, or like if there's like actually going to be major objectives to it. Well, I'll tell you what was very relieving to me is initially I saw Evil Dead and I thought, please don't be a Dead by Daylight clone. Let's not do another one of those games. You could put Ash into that game or whatever. Um, like, Friday the 13th, the video game was, you know, basically Dead by Daylight, except different maps, and you had more people in the survivor role. Um, so I'm glad that you're actually out here fighting, because I would, I would hate to just have Evil Dead reduced to one guy's a monster, and everyone else is trying to figure out how to get out. Um... And this looks like, you know, you're going to fight, yeah, waves of things. And I'm I'm very excited for that. Just to be able to play Ash, you can play the Knight, have the sword, you can play the other. I'm sure they got characters from all three of those movies. I wonder if they'll have anyone from Ash vs. Evil Dead. Hmm. I don't know. Interesting. I don't know if you ever watched that series, but it was great. Um... Dude, so much blood and gore. I mean, just in the Evil Dead style. Just gratuitous, overused blood, you know. And it's one of the things I loved about, you know. The first Evil Dead was like that movie, man. It was like they tried to be serious with it, you know. And it turned out kind of funny. And then, you know, by by Army of Darkness. Like, Army of Darkness is one of my top two or three films of all time, man. I absolutely love that movie. I could watch it anytime, anywhere, man. I'm never not in the mood for Army of Darkness. Yep. The first movie and Army of Darkness were amazing. I gotta say, Evil Dead 2 was kind of a letdown because it was like kind of just a remake of the first movie, but goofier and it didn't take itself seriously in any way shape or form but it was like their way of setting up the army of darkness movie yeah i mean i love the whole trilogy but i'm gonna agree with you on that but i mean nothing nothing matches army of darkness i'm sorry i'll fight you <laughs> later i mean Not right i'm now. a big fan of the first movie but yeah it, only... i i actually even like the remake of the first one it was actually decent uh, yeah, see, I didn't like it. My only yeah. hope with the game is that it, uh, like you were saying, you don't want it to be a uh, Dead by Daylight clone. I really just hope that uh, from the gameplay we saw, it doesn't end up as a uh, Dead by Daylight remake. Because I mean, or not Dead by Daylight. Uh, Left for Dead. Left for Dead. I don't want to see a Left for Dead clone. We've already got the another game coming, and I just don't want to see this turn into that right right but well it it's as of it uh that cinematic trailer i am hyped it's evil dead let's go i'm happy equally hyped right that's two thumbs up and uh so next up we got another pick from ssr man you're pretty excited about this what is the name of this one this is the callisto protocol so, All right. it's supposed to be a, a spooky game. Spooky? I like spooky. Yeah, spooky. I I can't remember what they said yesterday because I'm old and I have Alzheimer's, but uh, I'm pretty sure they said in the pre-speech that it's made by the guy that did uh, Dead Space and some, what was the other game? Uh, it escapes me, but uh, yeah. So Nice. Well, let's uh, get this started for you guys right now. Thank 
Yeah. Off to a good start. Lots, lots and lots of black screens. There's like no music to compete with in this one. Yeah. What's on his like. neck? Hey man, get up. Um, I think there is something to fear. Yeah. Right? Oh. <laughs> okay. This is Black Iron to transport ship Caron. You are cleared for landing. makes me think of uh of that I mean, 2022 uh, that dwayne johnson like monsters take over the area and then they got to bring in a hit squad or something like that to to sort out the situation right but yeah i oh, mean so, that's uh that looks pretty good to me i'd like yeah. to see a little bit more on it and get a little better understanding of what the guy there with the monitors and clearing a ship to come into that mess is all about. Yeah. Because it seems like you're definitely not playing the guy from the intro there. <laughs> I don't think he made it out. <laughs> no, no, you're definitely playing him. Right. You know, Could when be. I first saw the, the start of that trailer, though, I, uh, I don't know if you ever played it on the original Xbox, but... Uh, there was an old horror game named Jericho. I think I, I did play Jericho. When I saw the inmate and I heard the horror noises, the first thing that popped into mind was, oh my God, is this a Jericho remake? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. Maybe not finish it, but I think uh, I had borrowed it for like a week and played it a little bit from a friend, you know, back then when everybody had physical copies and you could actually swap games for a week or two and, Heck yeah. I do think I played some of that. That was good. Yeah, so I'm I'm hoping that this ends up being like uh like a Dead Space meets Jericho or something like that. Yeah. Looks pretty good. All right, next up and now I know uh you had mentioned Left for Dead when we were talking about uh Evil Dead. And I don't know if you guys are getting a uh, sense of what I like to play, but um, I'm pretty excited here about this one. It's called Back for Blood, uh, apparently made by the original guys from Left for Dead, that uh, team. So uh, let's hop in here right now for you guys and uh, see what you think of this. Do a good start. Up in the snow, so you can see a little parasite. <laughs> I don't know why you would open it up, but hey. I like it. I mean, hard to go wrong with Left 4 Dead. I don't know. A game I never really invested a whole lot of time in. Mm. Left 4 Dead 2 is still a lot of people play that. Oh, I believe it. Until this one comes out. And then Left 4 Dead 2 will just die out. Possibly. Ooh. Got a quick one. Oh, stomach goop. 
<laughs> Gotta love the, uh, the fact that it just collects its own uh, stomach fluids and uses that to web somebody down. Yeah. Kinda oh weird, boy. But... Oh, they got the spitters. <laughs> spitters. Oh, I like how they're doing uh, variation zombies, but at the same time, I feel like that they might as well have just made Left 4 Dead 3. They're really ripping off their own monsters. <laughs> um, that said, nothing that they are showing in this trailer is nearly as scary as your first encounter with a witch. Right. Like the trailer for Left 4 Dead 2 pretty much summed it up like, oh yeah, run from zombies, shoot zombies, save people. Oh my god, that's a witch. <laughs> Don't say anything. Yeah, you hear her crying and everything. I don't know. Yeah. So I wanted to look this one over again because I mean it looks good. And I spent hours and hours and hours. On Left 4 Dead, more Left 4 Dead too, but we did play a lot of Left 4 Dead as well. Um, I remember um, was playing some game, and some guy was like, "Hey, you know, some online game playing with some buddies," and the guy's like, "Hey, man, my buddy is developing a game called Left 4 Dead. It's going to be a four-player co-op zombie game. You should look out for it." And I was like, "Shit!" I told all my friends about it, and. Uh, that's how I found out about Left 4 Dead was an Xbox message or some shit. So, really nice. Um, that was pretty cool. Um, and then I remember the ads of the the broken hand when the second one came out with the two fingers coming up. I'm like, yeah, buddy. So, I I love those games. This obviously in the same vein as that. Again, you know, we're hoping that. Uh, Evil Dead is not too much like this, especially if they launch at a similar time. <laughs> yeah. But I don't know. Uh, I think Evil Dead has the possibility of having a little more story to it than just, you know, fighting hordes. So there is that. But um, yep. I don't know. I Maybe not your kind of game, but definitely my kind of game. It's one of those types of games where I need to have a group of friends allotted to play it with because it's one of those games that... Mm -hmm. If it's just me by myself, I will never touch it. Yeah, I mean, that's, I feel like that's uh, that genre. You got to have four people. I mean, we used to run three all the time and have AI running the fourth guy. And he was, AI is always so dumb. <laughs> just so dumb, man. Uh, <laughs> not, right? not, not the enemy AI, but your teammate AI is always so damn dumb. Yep. So. I don't know, man. You're at 60% health and he's at 22% and he uses his health pack on you. And it's like, dude, stop. Stop. And you can't cancel out of it. You're like, why are you healing me, dude? I'm fine. <laughs> or uh, yeah. when something leaps on you and knocks you to the ground is sitting there beating you to death and they're like, eh, I don't need to help you. I'll just keep shooting zombies until the zombie beats you to death. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's, it's really rough when it's you and three AI guys. So you definitely got to have friends for at least for Left 4 Dead. We'll see how this comes out, but I'm I'm definitely excited for that. Yeah, I'm definitely uh, going to keep an eye on it because, I mean, I back when the first two Left 4 Deads were out, I didn't really have a whole lot of people I was playing games with at the time. So now that I do have people I play games with pretty much every other night, mm -hmm. I have something to look forward to. And who knows? Maybe this will... Uh, take you away from rogue company for a bit <laughs> yeah, i played last night i uh, i haven't been playing as much lately but i do still have fun yeah but, you know my I, my burnout threshold is very low anymore so mm -hmm. but then when i get back into it i can't hit shots like i did and i get frustrated and then it makes me want to play less and less you know it's my problem with I like playing shooters because you can jump in for a few rounds and jump out, but then if you're not kind of grinding them, at least for me, you know, I don't have the best reflexes and reaction times anymore, so I got to play the game 
for 30 or 40 minutes before I start getting back in the flow and that kind of sucks if I'm not playing it you know every other day or so yep. all right and for uh the third and final uh hyped up game for SSR we have Loop Hero woo woo from Loop Hero Devol from Devolver Digital yeah all right well let's go ahead and get this going for you guys right now Welcome to the Devolver Digital 2021 Game of the Year. But first, we're going to watch the Devolver, Devolver Digital, Digital Game of the Year. Now, yeah. Host, Here's Digital a Devolver CEO, Digital Lina skit. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, shush it. So yeah, tonight we are here to celebrate this year's most memorable video games. Let's not overlook the unrelenting hype, not for this but for next year's as yet to be released games coming at you hot from what many believe to be this industry's most ridiculously overrated publisher. While most of these games are months <laughs> away from release, we at Devolver Digital are strong proponents of awards for awards sake. And with that, the nominees for the Devolver Digital 2021 Game of the Year are Shadow Warrior 3 by Flying Wild Hog. Olea by Skeleton Crew Studio. Card Shark by Nereo. Weird West by Wolfeye. Boomerang X by Dang. And the winner is. Loop Hero by Developer Four Quarters. <laughs> In other words, we didn't pick any of those games we said were nominees. <laughs> <laughs> I do flip it flipping off the camera. Loop Hero wasn't announced <laughs> until well, just now, really. Let's have a look at Loop Hero. Your world has been cast into a dark spiral. That was pretty good. <laughs> this is old school here. Right? We can watch the rest of the skit. Uh, we'll see you next year. Or whatever. That's it. Or whatever. <laughs> we'll see you next year. Whatever. That was uh that was pretty good. <laughs> I like Devolver Digital. They get wild. Last year, uh last year their skit was uh she's out on the stage and she's trying to be funny and they have this like very fake, very staged like live studio audience out there. And so it keeps mm -hmm. cutting from her to scenes of people that are obviously not there. And they're laughing and whatnot. And then uh, at the end of it, they do their little awards and uh, the audience runs up on the stage and like tears her apart and cannibalizes her. <laughs> it's just weird, wild shit. And I love it. Yeah, that was good. That was worth the watch. The rewatch even. Um, yeah, right? Yeah, so that is some old school like uh, on my Commodore kind of looking stuff there with the pixel art. Um, right? It looks like it could like be fun. Games. I'd be I'd be interested in that for sure. It's nice and old school looking and it's kind of it's interesting. Like it looks like your character just runs loops around the map. But as they do, they fight monsters. You get new cards. You use the cards to either get yourself gear or cast spells or like build up the map around you into cities and whatnot. Right. Right. It's interesting. I'm I'm really interested to see it because I like I like the aesthetic of all those old games. Mm -hmm. I like when they reinvent them for nowadays with like all these crazy cool mechanics that people never thought of back then. So, yeah, I'd be interested to take a look at that for sure. Yeah. And it's Devolver, so. There you go. <laughs> I'm sold just off of uh, that guy being mad flipping off the camera when they picked a game that wasn't even announced. Yeah, <laughs> that was pretty good. And the winner is a game that we're announcing right now. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, that leaves us uh, one game left. This is my third and final pick for a game I'm hyped about. This is Century Age of Ashes. Let's get that playing for you right now. Playwing. Okay, you had me at dragons. Yep. <laughs> dragons is good stuff. Especially if there's like different types of dragons you can have that uh, do different things. Which, I see different dragons. Yeah, and the gameplay looks pretty good. Ooh, look at them aerial maneuvers. I gotta say, it kind of reminds me of like a dragon version of Star Wars Squadrons. Right. Like face and shoot each other. But this is burn each other to death. Or, uh, what was that one game from a few years back? Uh, Dragon Commander, I think it was called? I did sign up for the beta, by the way. I did not yet. They do it right on Steam. Um, so something I would like to say about this game, it is free to play. There you go. This is a free-to-play game, and my hype meter for this is at a 10 right now just because of that. Um, you know, I'm sure that they'll have in-game investments in different things like most free-to-play do now. And, you know, I, I'm hoping companies have learned to not release an F2P game and make it pay to win. I really hope that that's not the case here. Um, I would think it wouldn't be, but... Uh, I don't. I mean, as far as what we saw there, if that was actual gameplay, it looked it looked really good. Yeah, it did. So, yeah, it's I'm very uh, well polished for a free game. I am very very hyped up for that game. Um, again, that's Century Age of Ashes, free to play. It's why I saved it for last because there's no better price than free. <laughs> I mean, that's fantastic, and it it looks great. It looks it looks like it would be a lot of fun. So I can't wait. I'm hoping I can get into the beta and I can let you guys know. Maybe if uh, we both do it, we can put some content together to release here and tell you uh, how we think it is uh, after getting some time in on it. Yeah. Works for me. All right, we get signed up for that beta. All you got to do is press a button on there, and then it'll say, uh, we'll let you know when there's space available. All right, I'm submitted. <laughs> Very good. Pretty so, my friends, uh, we have uh, gone over 12 trailers tonight. I hope you enjoyed our after show from the Game Awards. This has been uh, downloading content. Look for us to be putting out a lot more content in 2021. Um, this is just just a taste of things to come. Got a lot of plans ahead of us. SSR, anything to add? Uh, I think you nailed it on the head. We've uh, we've got a bunch of shows in the works, lining some stuff up, getting. Uh our backlog of content i'll add it uh edit it up and we'll have things coming in 2021 spend the rest of the year relaxing before we uh start throwing things out <laughs> it's coming it's coming it's coming well thank you everyone for hanging out and i uh, hope you enjoyed go ahead uh click that subscribe button please and uh Leave any comments if there's anything we left out that you're hyped about, and maybe we can check that out because, you know, I'm always interested to see what you think. All right, I guess I'll, we'll just cut on that. Then. I was <laughs> just going to cut to do there? something. But, yeah. What? No, this has been downloading content with Suffer By Us and SSR. Well, I was <laughs> trying to get to that, and then I paused, and then you didn't. Pick up on the pause. I mean, uh, I, 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 I thought I you were going to follow up with what you were saying. <laughs> so I'll just you, stop you can just leave all this in as uh, extended blooper outro. <laughs> yeah, we can do that. Uh. <laughs>